Glenn Shorick on North America is not quite getting his name right. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. Most of you know my name. My name is John Bowden. But when I was growing up, I was French. That's why sometimes I'll get some of my words wrong. Even at 59 years old, sometimes my French will come out. And I haven't spoken French since, I think, 1970 or something like that. The reason I mention this is I realized in grade six I wanted to be a radio announcer. And my name was really, in my family, pronounced John Baudin. And I realized even at that age, no one in, on English radio was going to pronounce my name. Here's John Bowden. And I went, my name's John Bowden. Some of my family now say Bowden. But you can imagine the ruckus it caused in my family being in grade six, deciding to A, not pronounce my name the same way as the rest of the family, and B, stopping speaking French. Yeah, I did that. The reason I bring this up is everyone has a few of those words where they say wrong. I mean, a few weeks ago, we were talking about Randy Bachman, where it's not Bachman. It's actually Randy Bachman, but he doesn't mind when people say it wrong. Glenn Shorick ran into the same thing. It's not Chirac, it's Shorick. Oh, that's been the that's been a bait of my life uh, in North America. Chirac yeah. is uh, how they like to do it. Uh, I'm English, and Shorick is the uh, the English way of pronouncing it. So it's cool. I lived I lived with that during my touring days over in over in the states and Canada. The, the reason was I was um, I was uh, reviewed once as George Shark, right? Yeah, in Spokane, Washington. Uh, uh, irrepressible lead singer, uh, a Troy Donahue look-alike, George Shark. <laughs> and so, so I, I would get on room service, right? Hi, this is uh, Glenn Shark here. Uh, yes, Mr. Shark. No, no, Shorak. Uh, yes, Mr. Shark. What can we do? Finally, I just okay. Yes, it's George Shark here. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't beat him, join him. Oh no. Okay, that's a yeah. lot of gold and platinum albums behind you, my friend. Well, you looks like you're in a record shop. Yeah, that's. Uh, it's just my. Uh, these are all autographed albums. I've been in radio 35 years, so I've just gotten albums through the years. Yeah, well, I just bought all these. Yeah, right. <laughs> Were the harmonizing vocals a mainstay, like a, an idea for this band? Yeah, um, definitely. When uh, we first sang with each other back in in London in 1974, uh, we sang It's a Long Way There, Graham Goebel's uh, composition, which became track one, side one on the first album and became our first entry into the uh, charts as well. Um, immediately I, I heard that blend that uh, was so strong and gave, gave me great confidence because I've been, you know, I've been knocking on the door in England for quite a while and going nowhere and ended up as a backup singer to Cliff Rich, which is not exactly where I wanted to be, but it was, <laughs> it was good fun. Now, where was I is Glenn Shorick's brand new autobiography. Glenn Shorick sings Little River Band, is his brand new album. New takes on old LRB hits. We'll have one more clip from Glenn Shorick coming up next week. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Mm -hmm.